Hello children, how are you? I hope that everything is good. My name is Aisulu Alumbekova and I'm your English teacher. Today we'll talk about WH questions in the past simple tense. Let's start. But first of all, let's have a look to our plan for the lesson. We'll review what is the past simple, watch the video and sing. Learn how to make a WH questions. Read the text and learn new vocabulary. Then we will practice with the help of exercises. Before starting, let's review how to make a sentence in the past. For this, you have to put in correct order the following words. Let's check. Asan played football in the park yesterday. Ok, let's make a question. How do we make it in the past? Yes, we do it with the help of did or was were. It's auxiliary or helping verb which help us to make a question sentence. Did Asan play football in the park yesterday? Was she at school? Were they happy in the birthday party? Now let's do exercise by yourself. Ok, let's check. Did he read an interesting book? Was the boy in a school last week? Were they in the park? Children, we know that it's general or yes-no questions, which we can give answer yes or no. For example, did Asan play football? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Was the boy in the school last week? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were they in the park? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. But also, we have WH or special questions. To form these questions, we have five useful question words. Who, what, where, when, why. Who, what, where, when, why. Song about five W's? Ok, now let's review. First W is who. For people. The second W is what for things. The third W is where for place. The fourth W is when for time. The last one is why we use for reason. So children, you must keep in mind these words, ok? Let's have a look when we use them. Now we will make a WH questions. Here we have a general questions in the past. Did Asan play football in the park yesterday? And to make WH question, we just put five W's words before did. But remember, who is not used with did. For example, she went to school. 
who went to school. To know about a son, we ask who played football in the park yesterday. To know about football, we ask what did a son play in the park yesterday. To know about park, we ask where did Asan play football yesterday? To know about yesterday, we ask when did Asan play football in the park? To know about reason, we ask why did Asan play football in the park yesterday? Now, let's practice it. Ask questions with who, what, where, when, why. Now, let's check. What is your name? Where are you from? When is your birthday? Why tall are you? Who is your favorite singer? Let's do next exercise.
Okay, children, let's check. When did he go there? In the afternoon. Who did he go there with? With Molly. Where did he have lunch? At home. When did he get home? At four o'clock. What did he like best? He liked the ponies very much. Why did he like them? Because they were fast. Find an answer for each question word. Okay, let's check. What? Apple. Who? Diana. Where? At school. When? Today. Why? Because it's late. Let's learn new vocabulary. A cave. A cave, a stone tool, a stone tool, a mammoth, a mammoth, a skin, a skin. Now we will read the text about life in the past. The first people lived in caves. There were a lot of wild animals near the caves. Mammoths, bears, elephants and other animals. They killed them for food and used their skin for clothes. They also caught fish and picked wild fruits. Cavemen didn't live in one place. They lived in places where they could find water and food. Million years ago, Cavemen started using fire. They used it to heat their caves, cook food, and drive wild animals away. Cavemen made different tools and objects out of stone. They used them to hunt and cut animal skins and meat. Therefore, we call this period the Stone Age. Now we will do exercise concerning to the past simple WH questions. Let's go. Use the words to write questions.
Okay, let's check. Did cave people live alone? What animals did they hunt? What did they eat? Why didn't they live in one place? How did cave people use fire? Why did we call this the Stone Age? Question number one. What did you do yesterday? Question number two. How did you get to San Francisco? Question number three. When did you have lunch? Question number four. Who ate the cake? Question number five. What did she say? Question number six. When did they graduate? Question number seven. What time did you go to bed? Question number eight. Why did he see a doctor? Okay, children, our lesson is over. Thank you for your work and attention. Goodbye.